Terraria kinda has a yo-yo problem. Now, the yo-yo subclass isn't the worst by any means, especially compared to some of the other subclasses. But for yo-yos having such a big spotlight during the 1.3 update, literally having the main trailer named after it, they're still kinda underwhelming. Really, the main downside of all Terraria yo-yos is that they're really boring. There's legit like five unique yo-yos that actually have some sort of special attack connected to them. And honestly, it's really only one because the other four just inflict burning debuffs or shoot bees. How is there all these options in this subclass and only one of them have a unique attack? Not to mention that one of the weapons that has a unique attack is loot from the last boss in the game. On top of the yo-yos themselves not being unique, there's barely any accessories, which can be said for a lot of Toria subclasses. And there also isn't any unique armors or set bonuses to make them stand out. So in today's video, we are going to fix Terraria's yo-yo problem with mods. The first set of mods we're going to install are going to fix the vanilla yo-yos and add special abilities to them. This will really give you a reason to go out of your way and get certain yo-yos. Instead of them just being recolors with different damage outputs, you can pick and choose which ones you'd like the most based on their unique attack styles. The Ties Yo-Yo Redux mod is going to be the perfect mod to install to fix these problems. Not only does it add in unique features for almost every single vanilla yo-yo, but but it adds in its own yo-yos to fill in areas of progression that feel lacking. On top of that, it adds in a couple of really unique and fun accessories. This mod also adds in a bunch of other cool little features and fixes to make the yo-yo subclass even more enjoyable. One of these features is adding in recipes for the developer yo-yos, so that they're actually a part of the yo-yo progression instead of being a novelty item that you get rarely. Honestly, this mod alone would probably be enough to make a playthrough way more fun with the yo-yo subclass. But we're not done there, let's add a couple more mods. The next mod we're going to be adding is the Moo Moo's Ultimate Yo-Yo Revamp mod. Now this mod takes the Yo-Yo subclass and expands on it way, way more. It adds in a bunch of more unique accessories like rings, bearings, drill casings, and even more types of Yo-Yo gloves. It also adds in a feature where Yo-Yo accessories literally get their own slots. This mod also adds in a bunch of unique Yo-Yos. And instead of them having abilities by default, you have to put on this ability ring that activates the abilities for all the Yo-Yos. It also adds in a Zenith tiered Yo-Yo, which is dope as hell. I think my favorite feature from this mod is the drill casings, which essentially just turn your yo-yos into pickaxes slash drills. It's a really cool and unique idea. Now this mod in Ty's Yo-Yo Redux might have a couple features that stack on top of each other, but luckily for us, they're very customizable. So you can turn certain things on and off that you don't like and do like. Now, obviously, if you're a person that wants even more yo-yos, you could go ahead and just install any big Terraria content mod because a lot of them add in a bunch of cool and unique yo-yos. For example, the Calamity mod adds in a bunch the Thorium mod, or even a mod that's less talked about like the Viridian mod, which adds in a bunch of fun yo-yos. Now one thing I couldn't find was mods that specifically add in unique yo-yo armor sets, which kind of makes sense because obviously yo-yos are a subclass, so most armors they're going to be associated with is just melee armor sets, but I mean it would still be cool to have armor sets that specifically buff and have cool features for specific subclasses, but if any of you guys know any mods that add in yo-yo type armor sets, just let me know in the comments. With these two mods installed, honestly, this makes the whole entire yo-yo subclass way, way more enjoyable. I also really couldn't find too many other mods that added in more yo-yos. But we're gonna slap the Thorium mod into this mod pack and let's hop into some gameplay. So we are here in the yo-yo overhaul world. Now, one thing I do want to bring up is in the mod config for Moomoo's ultimate yo-yos, I turned this off, vanilla yo-yo effects, because Ty's yo-yo mod adds in a bunch of vanilla effects. But if you want yo yo's to be super op then you know you can have both of them on i know that the uh moo moo's ultimate mod is more of a for fun mod rather than like a serious balanced one because some things in that might be low op but again you can turn things on and off for both mods but yeah let's get to it our first yo-yo let's take a look here is it still gonna be a wooden yo-yo i believe it is i don't think there's anything earlier than that we got some iron and lead yo-yos okay yeah it's looking like the wooden yo-yo is gonna be our first go-to look at that enchanted yo-yo yo no pun intended if we get a star, that yo-yo would be fired. This is definitely going to have some uh, summoner type vibes here. If you're wondering, uh, we're going to see some special creatures. If you're wondering what they're from, that is from this 
this mod right here the liber the liber creature mod which adds in a bunch of new monsters and stuff some cool items just because i wanted to spice it up a little bit but yeah to make a vanilla wooden yo-yo we gotta get our hands on some cobweb it shouldn't be too hard it really shouldn't be too hard at all we just gotta find a nice early cave we can head on into but yeah so far the early game of the yo-yo characters giving a little bit of summoner vibes off because i'm over here looking for my weapon and look at that we got some cobweb yes sir we can make our first official yo-yo now the goal obviously oh my god slime's dropping out of nowhere goal obviously is to get a vanilla yo-yo that has some new special effects on it so that's gonna be what i try and do where are all these slimes coming from let's go ahead let's beat on them a little bit it's just a wooden yo-yo it's nothing too special they just keep coming bro i guess i gotta take them on we got an orange slime okay interesting and here come more is there like a slime spawner am i playing minecraft slime chunk no clue but since they're stuck in the water man nice and easy because the yo-yo has got the maneuverability that's always one of the best things about the yo-yo is being able to do stuff like this using obstacles to my advantage late game when you know when you're fighting some bosses it's a little bit less apparent but when it comes to mini interactions like this down here in the caves it's pretty nice to be able to just get an enemy stuck and then sneak your yo-yo through like a one whole high block and start doing damage but yeah let's take a look here is there any yo-yos that i could specifically get my hands on we got these ones but you know these are pretty plain not too much to see from an iron and lead yo-yo you now i could get my hands on them just to see how they're like what about some accessories here we got these rings that make our yo-yos emit a bright light okay nice a little extra thing kind of like yo-yo string colors we have this yo-yo right here the prismatic throw which if we get our hands on all the colored gems we could go ahead and make that but yeah other than this right here this enchanted yo-yo not too many that we could just straight up craft we're gonna have to find a couple of them so one i guess i want to keep an eye out for is like the rally maybe we even try and get our hands on some uh early corruption ore or crimson ore and try and get like the malaise or whatever other yo-yos there are the artery is that the name of the crimson one i don't even know if i said this word right never used that word in my life all right who in the hell is vincent van bone all right i found myself in a pickle there's a axe knight very scary enemy i'm trying to stay away from him but my boy rattles magoo oh god game raiders lore he has made an appearance here to save the day right rattles oh good shot hold up we gotta take this slide. i gotta take out the black slime there we go and now we get in here i gotta watch the moves count out is axe throw okay i'm not doing a good job of counting i'm trying my best it looks like if we hit him enough we could just combo him and he won't throw anything nice and now we talk to my boy rattles and we get our hands on a beautiful accessory here that he is not selling hello what uh, am i tripping i'm not seeing a counterweight are counterweights now craftable oh god <laughs> don't tell me this was just like terrible rng i just googled about counterweights and when they're sold and i really did not know that the moon phase is affected when counterweights are sold every time i have talked to either a traveling merchant which i think he always sells counterweights or even a skeleton merchant they have always sold a counterweight i don't think they've never ever not sold one so this has to be just pure game raiders terrible doo-doo luck that i always have or i don't know a mod is messing with it but this is honestly insane i've never seen a skeleton merchant not sell a counterweight and of course during the yo-yo playthrough it's just like the traveling merchant when he finally sells a cool weapon but you're doing like a melee only playthrough and he's finally selling the pulse bow or you're doing mage only and he's selling the gatling alligator finally it's crazy we're gonna capture this on camera watch this giant shelly he's gonna drop our beautiful rally that we're looking for oh my god he takes one damage thank god i'm playing just on normal mode because imagine this on any other difficulty here it goes boom drop it okay uh it's fun i didn't want it and here it is right here he's gonna drop the beautiful rally thank you very much shelly you know i appreciate this especially on the yo yo we have goofed off enough third shelly is the charm here let's slowly beat him to death with a wooden ball let's go come on right here let's get it yes sir damn 
this game does not like me. Now, who in the hell is this knockoff skeleton merchant? Vincent Van Bone? Oh, hold up. He a yo-yo NPC. Look at this. Nice. Okay, I, I'm my bad for calling you a knockoff. Oh, he's selling the rally. I don't got enough gold for it. And I kind of want to buy an accessory. Well, look at this. 150 range. We got the yo-yo radar. Displays how fast the yo-yo can move. Mechanical clicker dis displays the current consecutive hits by yo-yo. And then we got a ring that makes it look nice. I might buy one of these strings it really depends how do we make a string again okay so no matter what the string gives you 150 range okay we'll save our money then so let us go ahead craft our first official accessory it's gonna be a white string and look at that our boy mercer is here are you selling a counter wait what, what is this you know what it's fine it's fine i won't get mad you know what let's be unique let's buy a gi who uses that as their first arm set nobody and then i'm gonna get like 50 comments being like i do i really like this library creature mod it adds in a lot more life in terms of like variety and monsters always like mods like this i remember there was a mod back in the day for like 1.3 mod loader like og 1.3 mod loader that was very similar to this mod i don't remember the name of it but uh, if you remember Fury Forge, you ever seen Fury Forge and that hopping skeleton meme he does? That enemy was from that mod, and I really liked that mod, and it just vanished from the face of the earth, which was always sad to me. <gasps> A star! Look at that. Boom, bada, bing, we get our first official yo-yo upgrade, enchanted yo-yo. Yes, sir. What do we got? It's got way more range. I can actually hold it out for a long time and I have to left click all the time. A beautiful upgrade already from the wooden one because the wooden one legit had like a two, three block range. And then I hit something once and I got to recast it. One thing I will mention though here when it comes to accessories, again, yo-yo is a melee subclass so obviously melee accessories will benefit it but i'm not noticing too many accessories super early game it seems like a couple of them are near uh skeletron area for example we got this one right here from the moo moo mod right here boom the book you get and it's post skeletron obviously because the bones and then one of the uh, items from the oh hey 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 hold up, hold up now we could talk about this my boy i don't know we're gonna see if we could talk about this. I do a solid 14 damage. Oh, I got this under control, y'all. Don't you worry. I, I don't actually think I have this under control. But, you know, it's nice to see this dude because I never usually fight him or I just forget about him in 1.4. Like most don't starve content. I also hate this boss too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think he has some of the dumbest mechanics. Like him being invulnerable when you're a decent amount away. Not even that far away. Just like, a, like 20 blocks away, he goes invulnerable. Like that right there, that, that purple phase he's in. And then you get above him and then he just spawns these hands that attack you. I, I don't like the deer clubs. In my opinion, I think he's cool looking don't get me wrong i kind of wish they added in all the giants from reign of giants but since he was the og from don't starve they added in him but like i don't think it's a cool boss fight he drops cool stuff though i do mess with some of the don't starve items what was i talking about before i don't even remember be honest y'all think this chest is safe to open looks safe enough to me okay we officially have enough gold to get our hands on the rally our first vanilla yo-yo where we get to see its little special bonus that the mod adds in and look at that it's got a little after effect image that i believe can actually hurt enemies nothing too crazy but that's not all we got some more stuff we're doing where is it we're taking these icy shards from the thorium mod and then we're taking our vertebrae boom that i've farmed a bunch of and we're gonna turn into leather yes sir leather actually useful for something and look at this frost burn pouch baby your yo-yo damage has a chance to inflict frost burn there is our second official yo-yo accessory amazing awesome i ain't done yet maybe i am i don't know let's see can i make a make a make a malice that's not what it's called artery i think it's artery i want to make this oh my god i need one more bar one more bar all right got it but what i think i can make thanks to a mod in here that allows me to switch gems we should have two of every gem to make that one yo-yo prismatic throw do i got two, two ruby two oh i don't have two diamond boom two diamond yes sir prismatic throw and of course it's shoddy like a melody all right it's all good not really it's kind of annoying but look at that we got a nice little selection of yo-yos to go through here i want to get my hands on some more crimson ore i saw some we're gonna do it and we're gonna get the artery and then we will officially fight a boss all right we got everything we need to succeed i hope starting with the crimson ore here 
Boom. Let's make the artery. I'm excited to see what special attack this thing has. Uh, has a chance to steal life from enemies. Ooh. Now that's actually going to be fire. And uh, now we have to craft the... Uh, what is this thing called? Grand Flare Gun and Storm Flare. And we'll be finding the Grand Thunderbird from Thorium. So boom. There's the Flare Gun and boom. There's the Flare. Now let me set up an arena in the desert and let's get to it. Let us fight the Grand Thunderbird. Let's get it. I got high hopes. This is, oh, was paying attention. This is a pre King Slime boss fight, I believe. So we should have no problems here. I got my life steal. I got my defense. I should be chilling. I'm not that bad at the game. But yeah, let's get to it. Uh, I don't know what y'all want to start off here. Maybe we start with the rally. He is kind of far away, or she's kind of far away. So we gotta use one that's got decent distance. Maybe let's drop down, have her drop closer, and then I do like a little double jump to try and get a hit off on her. Hey, we get that frost burn applied on here. We're chilling. That should be great damage from that. Yeah, like literally all these yo-yos pretty much do the same damage. The artery does a little bit more, but like this prismatic throw would be good if you know, I didn't get a bad reforge. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do wish there's a couple more options, man. I'm really wanting some armor early game. That's really what I want. Like the armor can be very simple too. It doesn't need to be super crazy or anything, at least the early game sets. But something that's maybe like, yo, yo speeds faster like you cast it you throw it faster it's faster to maneuver you know stuff like that can be implemented into your yo armor set both early game ones and late game ones and then maybe you could get crazy with the late game ones maybe like a late game armor sets like you cast your yo-yo out and sometimes when you hit something like seven yo-yo shoot out from your bodies like tentacles kind of like a counterweight like a crazy amount of counterweight shoot out from you now that could be like an idea it's definitely possible so i hope mod developers in the future any mod devs that watch this you're like hold up maybe i make the yo-yo armor slash more accessories mod because if we're talking about terraria subclasses the yo-yo class really is, is got some love to it as we saw with it being the main star of the 1.3 update in terms of weapons but it just wasn't fleshed out like a lot of stuff from relogic they do a lot of cool ideas but never flesh them out they're so close to just greatness but then they're just like haha here's a little fun feature that's it you know another example of fun feature that added in all those new mine carts that you can ride around in but they're literally all just for show except for like maybe one or two of them and there we go the boss is dead grand thunderbird fairly easy boss as i expected given that it's before king slime we can see on the boss checklist but that was our yo-yo overhaul video here i hope you guys enjoyed it shout out all the mod developers that made the mods if you got any suggestions to make this pack even crazier let me know i'll go ahead and show you the mods i used right here here are the mods i used for this specific little run through that i did right here a little mini playthrough but thank y'all for watching hey also leave a comment on some other subclasses and or major classes you want to see a video like this i did one with the summoner we're doing one with the yo-yo class and i plan to do one with the ranger that that one's in the works also by the time i was finished with this video i saw that there was another video similar to this made by cult colossal it's called terrier's yo-yo progression sucks he probably had the same idea as me so make sure to check out his video because now you know i'm not the only one that thought that yo-yos had potential but it's just not there man but yeah thank y'all for watching i'll see you next time